everybody, Ziv Sami here, I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Welcome to this video. I'm still at the AP conference in San Diego where I'm learning so many important things but also meeting um, many dentists, many specialists and also several general dentists that have reached a very high level of surgical success that I personally learned from. And in this video, I'm going to show you my interview with Dr. Isaac Tawil from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, he's an amazing general dentist that uh, I look up to uh, in terms of his achievements, his, his teachings. We had a great conversation talking about dentin grafting, the advantages, the patient's perception. And we also talked about a very important concept that I'd like you to pay attention to that is called osseodensification, not osseointegration, densification, which is a new way and a better way to prepare implant sites and improve the bone quality as you're preparing your osteotomy, and this is something that I'm personally going to look into and implement in the very near future, so osteodensification. Dr. Isaac Tawil is not only a gifted clinician running a successful practice in Brooklyn, but he also teaches all over the world, and he's a, he's a really living proof that general dentists can perform surgery at a very, very high level. So if you are watching this, and you are a general dentist, don't use the fact that you're not a surgical specialist as an excuse not to get into surgery because you don't have the formal training. You can acquire the, the knowledge. It's readily available. You have to have the desire to learn. Like Dr. Isaac Tawil and other doctors, uh, I call them super dentists, that acquired knowledge and skills even without the formal designation of a specialist. They are performing at a super high level at the cutting edge and our innovators and I personally learn a lot from them so GPs like Dr. Isaac Tawil can inspire you to do the same definitely check out his work and his teachings he's a general dentist and a top surgeon enjoy my conversation with Dr. Isaac Tawil Hi everybody, it's Yves Simon here I'm the creator of Surgical Master I'm here with Dr. Isaac Tawil from the East Coast. That's right, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Wow, uh, the best delis in the world, right? <laughs> That's and the truth. Uh, best steak. That is true. Best steak. Um, t remind me the name of the steak place. Uh, the um, oh god. Next to the bridge. Next, next to the bridge. Next to the bridge. Downtown, next to the bridge. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think of that. Uh, so Isaac, you're a general dentist. That is correct. Uh, yes. We've known each other actually online and communicated. It's actually the first time we're meeting. We're here at the AAP in San Diego, California. And Isaac, uh, you know, there's so many uh, lectures and good speakers, really the best of the world here. If you have to had to pick uh, maybe one topic or one speaker that really is making a big difference nowadays in implant surgery or in surgery in general, what would that be? Uh, without a doubt, I've been uh, following his work for many, many, many years, but Ziv Mazur has been uh, an inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, every time you come to these meetings, whether it's uh, this meeting or in AAID, ICOI meeting, you're always seeing new technology, new techniques, new tools to help us to make life a lot easier, more simple for us as a uh, implant uh, dentist. As an implantologist, we're always encountering sure. a lot of these difficult things, uh, such as you know whether what type of bone graft we should use, which way we should do a sinus surgery. And it's people like him that are leaders that bring us to uh, see these new techniques and give us some inspiration and make our lives easier as dentists, general dentists, surgeons, periodontists, oral surgeons, uh, whatever specialty you may be. Yeah, and, and we need we need inspiration because uh, you know if we don't have inspiration, we have a lot of perspiration. So <laughs> that is the truth. So, so we need that. Um, what of his techniques uh, or the techniques that he's lecturing about are you using in your own practice, and why? Ah, well, uh, two specifically that I would uh, really like focus on. One would be the uh, Cometa Bio Dentin Grinder. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been using it now for two years on, on his recommendation, and it's been amazing. Uh, the growth of uh, bone that you can get from a tooth. Who would right, have thought? Right. And, and, what, and, 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 thought? and, and, and as you know, I use it myself. Yes, uh, do, what, yeah. what, is your, what is your patient's um, response when you tell them that you're going to take their own tooth and graft it into the socket, into the sinus, or rebuild a bridge, a ridge. A, what, what, always, what's their response? It's always, always a very interesting conversation. I have uh, many religious people, some that are holistic people, okay. that are afraid of xenograft or allograft. So are the choice choices then? Well, in the past, we're left to all right. We can take bone from your chin or from the back of your jaw. Mm. Um, we've discussed hip surgeries, having an oral surgeon involved. Sure. And now the conversation became very di different. 
you can say, well, that wisdom tooth in the back that's not looking too good, we can use that as a graft. Or the mm -hmm. tooth that's currently failing on you for periodontal reason, um, we can take that out and grind it up and use it for bone graft. Right. The patient's immediate response has been, oh, I didn't know that that was even possible. So we've had pamphlets and all kinds of uh, you know, material out just so that the patients cannot know what's available to them because it eliminated that whole conversation of what type of material to have to use. And it's not only that, it's been having terrific success with less post-operative pain, swelling, beautiful healing, um, really in, in, in becoming a, a vital part into the uh, practice of uh, any implant surgeon. So when you drill into a site that was grafted with a dentin graft, what does it feel like, uh, you know, kind of from a tactile sensation point of view? So the, basically, once you go back in, it feels like natural human bone. You can't even tell that it was a tooth bone interface. Okay. Um, and many of my cases are immediate implants where we are surrounding it with bone. But so it's uh, uh, the uh, occasions that I go back and, and place the implants, which are probably about 20% of those cases. But you can see blood actually coming from a vital site. Okay. Uh, you can see what it looks like to be real bone, just like you presented in your um, Surgical Master video. Okay, great. Uh, tell me about um, osteodensification. Ah, tell, me about, tell me yes. about that. I know this is, yes. um, this you know, is one uh, of your babies. It's one of my, one of my loves. I have um, found out about two years ago that I was drilling in the wrong direction. Who would have so, known? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me Instead about it. Instead of drilling in the forward position, we actually drill in reverse. So we so, so counterclockwise. Counterclockwise okay. at a very high speed. Uh, up, very similar to what we were trying to do with bone condensing instruments, but instead of mm -hmm. compacting the bone, we actually do something called densifying the bone by not destroying the minerals that are developed inside the osteotomies. So a lot of times when you would try to compact with an osteotome, you're squeezing the bone. Okay. Whereas with osteodensification, we create a vortex, basically like a miniature uh, tornado inside the osteotomy, and it now sucks all the minerals and keeps it into the bone okay. instead of it coming out. So gone are the days where I drill and bone comes out or bone comes out on my drill. And here are the days where I drill in reverse, the bone expands, it densifies. It's amazing. We get higher stability, higher ISQs, which is very important in terms of uh, whether or not we should be doing early loading protocols. So that's another, basically a game changer in, uh, in dentistry, in the implant dentistry. Okay, cool. That's great information. Uh, Isaac, it was great meeting you finally. Yes, uh, Thank you so much for the information and um, we'll talk a little bit more. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Okay. Thank Enjoy you. the meeting, okay? Thank you. You too. This is Eve Simon from Surgical Master here with Isaac Tawil. I'll see you next time.